Man, y'all from the sheriff's office or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's good, YouTube? Smooth crew, what it do, man? And as y'all can see, we are back today with another video. Let's go, man. Um, So, as y'all can see from the title, y'all can see from the thumbnail, it's not an unboxing, more like a review. But we have my first shots with the Taurus. This is the first Taurus I've ever shot. I've had three. This is the first one I've ever shot. Um, um, so just to kind of give y'all a little simple unboxing, that's come in a cardboard box, of course. This one comes with a 15 round magazine as well as a 17 round magazine. And let me go ahead and introduce y'all to my Taurus G3. And just for you two purposes, we are clear. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine. But yeah, man, um, my Taurus G3. Now I've had a lot of, a lot of, heard a lot of flack about Taurus and different things like that. Um, I'm not gonna say some of it's unwarranted, but for my shooting experience with this thing, it took me a little bit to get used to it. Y'all gonna see in the B-roll. Um, but yeah, man, I actually like it. I ended up pick, picking this gun up for, for like $200 or whatever. Great budget option, great budget carry. But yeah, man. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and put in a little bit of, you know, range footage in there for y'all so y'all can go ahead and see how she shoots.
Hey man, y'all from the sheriff's office or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you so one of the things that I want to point out was there were, was no malfunctions with this firearm. And like I said, my first time taking it to the range, you know, fresh out the box or whatever, didn't have any uh, extra oil or lube or anything like that in there. So she ran great for me. Now the trigger pull is a little long. Again, we are clear. So this is all take up. And then you got a solid wall and a break. Let's do the reset one time. So not too bad. It resets right on that wall. But yeah. So once you kind of get it going, she is good on the reset as far as I'm concerned. It does come with the thumb safety on this side here. It is not ambidextrous. But yeah, man. Um over 200 rounds through this firearm, and I am loving it. The grip texture is a little bit rough. Um not too rough for me, but I know some people, like my wife, she probably won't like the texturing on it too much. Because it is a little bit of brace. It's kind of like that sandpaper um, grip texture. But yeah, man, for a $200 gun, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what other gun out here would y'all choose over a Taurus G3 or G3C. Any of the, the, the G lineups, the G2, the GX4, and all that. But for the price point that this thing comes in at, man, this is a phenomenal option in my opinion. Um... Would I say truck gun? I probably would, because I'm not a big fan of having a uh, very high dollar or pricey firearms in a vehicle just in case somebody was to break in or different things like that. Granted, I feel like if you're gonna have a, a gun in the vehicle, then it's probably gonna be your carry option. But, so whenever you leave the vehicle, it probably should be on your person. But if I had to leave just a regular, regular smuggler firearm in the vehicle, unattended, you know, this wouldn't be a bad option um but yeah man like i said this is my first taurus that i've actually ever shot and i'm pretty impressed with this thing i was at first when i was shooting it the uh, i was shooting a little low left um and there were some i went to the sheriff, local sheriff's office range and there were some uh, other officers out there shooting kind of you know let them shoot and get a feel for it and different things like that they were shooting you know um your shadow systems and different things like that so they you shooting a little bit higher dollar gun so for something like this they was pretty uh impressed with it initially but yeah man and then uh of course you do have that reef striker capability so that is a good option for me especially because of new shooters you can dry fire and not have to you know rack your slide every time like you would with another firearm this one you can just pull and pull and pull not necessarily the greatest thing because you are, you know, dry firing with no uh, snap caps or anything inside. So that will be recommended. But for a new shooter, this is a great option. Anyhow, I'm going to keep this video real short, man. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Have you? Do you own a Taurus? Have you carried one at one point in time? What model do you think is your favorite? And stay tuned to the next video, baby. We got some more pressure coming. Let's go. Oh, by the way, shout out to Safe Food Lonzo, man. NSG never stop grinding. But yeah, till next time, man. We out of here.